Hello, how are you today? I've got a good story for you. Listen to this. I was reading the news today here in Taiwan. I'll just show you the title. I'll tell you what happened. You're not going to believe this. Here's the title. A Taipei man freezes off legs with dry ice for NT41 million dollar payout. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Let me tell you the story. It's pretty interesting. His name is Chang. Okay, so we'll just say Chang is this 20s, 20 year old something guy. Uh, 41 million, that's 1.3 million US dollars, just for the math. So, so, would you, here's my first question I'm gonna give to you, Mr. or Mrs. YouTube lad person. Would you freeze your legs off for 1.3 million US dollars? You should put a poll. Yeah, maybe I'll put a poll on this video. Yes, no, maybe, whatever. Anyway, here's the details. Some guy, he's like 20, right? And gets together with an old high school buddy. Takes out like eight insurance. I don't know what type of insurance things he got, but you know, something to do with bodily harm, probably. I don't know. We won't get into details. I'll stick with the facts, what we do know. They went out to one of the suburbs close to Taipei and bought a pocket of dry ice. Hmm. And then they proceeded to take Mr. Chang, him and his friend, they tied him up with uh, twist ties, put his legs in the bucket, loud here, put his leg in the bucket for 10 hours. Totally killed his leg, sent him to the hospital and they had to amputate both of his legs below the knee. Both, no legs, below the knee. So he tries to claim his insurance, but they, they suspected fraud because he'd actually, this is dumb, this is the worst insurance scammer ever. He'd taken them all out like quite close to the time he decided to remove his lower legs. So he was hoping for a 1.3 million US dollar payout. You're in your 20s, you got no legs. It's not worth that much. I wouldn't even take Elon Musk's money to, to lose both my legs. It's ridiculous. Anyways, the story continues. So he gets some payout, like one of the smaller companies paid him. So he ends up banking about the equivalent of $7,000 US. <laughs> He's lost both of his legs. It's just so stupid I'm laughing. I'm not laughing for... Oh, it's just stupid. It's worth laughing. It's ridiculous. And so the police apprehend him. He's in the news, Mr. Chang. That's his surname, apparently. And uh, who knows what's going to happen. Sure, insurance fraud. He's getting thrown in jail with no legs. Freshly amputated. But that's just ridiculous. But here's how it is. Like, the reasoning he had was he was driving his scooter around Taiwan. This is in the last few weeks and he just froze his legs off like, there's a scooter right uh, I don't know look around like it's 25 degrees out like I don't even know if it's possible to actually freeze your legs off <laughs> before like at what point the damage he would have went into the hospital with his legs that's ridiculous he's the worst insurance scammer ever it doesn't make any sense I don't even know if it's possible like if you had to try and freeze your legs off. Okay. So why, why is this, what, what does that lead me into thinking? Well, not about like amputating body parts for money, obviously. Well, maybe that's not obvious, but I'm telling you, I wouldn't. But what's this world coming to? Are people getting that desperate? Like, like I don't know about you, but everywhere I go, there's these crazy stories in this world coming up. People doing absolutely insane things. Now, maybe it's because of the internet and we hear about them more often. Maybe they've always been there, but it sure as hell seems to me like I hear create, like just over top stories every day. Are people going crazy? Are they getting desperate? I have no idea. Anyways, he's got to be the worst scammer that I can think of, at least in the last little bit. I'm sure there's worse. All right, I'm going to go for a walk. I work in a few hours. North of Taipei City. This is where I like to do my walks on Thursdays. I don't know what day you're watching this, but it is Thursday. That was a cool temple. I'll show you that and then I'll let you go. What are your thoughts on this one? 
put your insurance scams below. Maybe I'll talk about them. But that'd be dumb as well. You know, posting your insurance scams, but maybe you will. Or maybe ones you've heard of. It doesn't have to be you. All right, there we go. Nice church or temple deal for you. There's your story for today. Have more to come. Subscribe if you want to. I don't know what the content's gonna be. There's no real market for this uh, channel. It's just whatever. That's it today. Bye-bye.